Hi, my name is Victor and I'm in Arlington today. In this video, we're going to talk about 10 different reasons why you would want to move to Arlington. Let's get started right now. If this is your first time on our channel and you're looking to find out as much information as possible about moving or relocating to Northern Virginia and in generally Washington DC area, including Maryland, please reach out, um, give us a call, send us text, or send us an email, we would love to help. Let's talk about Arlington. So it has 230,000 population uh, for 2019. Arlington is the sixth largest county in Virginia, but it's the fifth highest income producing county in the entire USA. So let's cover the point number one, why anyone would wanna move to Arlington. Point number one, Arlington is about 15 minutes outside of DC. Right now we're in Boston, uh, Virginia. We're gonna go cover Courthouse and Clarendon as well. Um, so you can basically either take the car, you could take the bus, you could take the metro, or you could walk. It's gonna be quite a walk. It probably will take you about 40 to 45 minutes, but it's a really good way to exercise and explore the city. Can I add, uh, the sure. best way to walk is through Key Bridge. Like the views are amazing. You can see the Roslyn, you can see DC. Oh, and if you're here for fireworks, excellent place, right? We've been there a few times. Right. Uh, it's It shows everything. It's just such a cool place to, to be at. Okay, point number two. Arlington is one of the most diverse cities in Northern Virginia. So it welcomes about 100 and people from all over the world, basically 140 people on average, 140 people, no, 140, <laughs> 140 countries. Um, and so the top three um, residents in Arlington are from El Salvador, India, and Mexico. Um, what were you saying about your school? So when I moved here in 2001, I actually went to one of the largest ESL schools um, in here in Arlington. Uh, so it was located in Roslyn. So we had, I don't know, our class was about 20 people and everybody was from a different country. So this just tells you like how diverse Arlington is and, and the whole entire like Northern Virginia area. So let's move to the point number, number three. three. Arlington has one of the lowest unemployment rates. And Arlington hosts, is home to 31 companies that made to Inc. 5000 list this year. Uh, so it has top private and governmental agencies lo uh, located here. So Accenture, Deloitte, Virginia Hospital Center. Amazon just opened one of their headquarters in Arlington. Uh, specifically, it's going to be near Pentagon. Um, that brings a lot of employees. What we heard, it's about 25,000 people are actually coming to Arlington to, to live. So there are two work uh, com competitions between uh, New York and Arlington and actually the office in New York was closed. The, the future office, there is no actual office yet. So now, but uh, one in Arlington actually will, will continue and will be, will be implemented in the next, I guess, in a few years or so. But the people are from Seattle that started already moving in. Education. Arlington has one of the best uh, public schools uh, in Northern Virginia. Um, so a lot of people who move around here are, you know, working parents who move here and they specifically choose Arlington because of its school systems. Um, also, there are some satellite campuses from Virginia Tech. And what was the other one again that you said? UVA. UVA. Um, there is also George Mason University Law School in, uh, in Arlington, uh, specifically in Boston, and then there's George Washington University as well. Two other schools that are also big are Stray University and Marymount University. So if education is on your priority list, then Arlington may be the option for you. So if you're thinking to move to Arlington, this should be one of your reasons, or, or is this, or, or whether this is one of your top reasons, then here it is. Um, Arlington is, like I, as I said, it's very, uh, it's very, it, it, it scores very high on the walking score. Um, but again, when it gets cold or when you just feel lazy, you can take the metro. Um, so we're in Boston. The next stop, I think, is a Courthouse, and then there is Clarendon. Uh, that actually gives lead to the orange line, the right, blue line. Right, and Roslyn. So there are two metro lines, or orange and blue. Blue line, And correct. the blue line, we have Pentagon, Pentagon City, Crystal City. Arlington Cemetery, right? right? And then Correct. goes to, it connects it to right next to Alexandria. 
but so everything is basically within actually North Arlington right everything all mm -hmm. the metro stations basically within the walking distance you can walk from Boston all the way to Roslyn. Roslyn but it will take you a good like 40 minutes or so to get there but my point is um, it's very uh, commuter friendly um, obviously there's a lot of uber uh, there's a lot of ubers and lifts available as well um, but again I'm on I like to walk so when, right. I mean, you know when that, and, that's just a personal choice. and it's it's well connected with buses so from South Arlington you can easily get to DC and Correct. just all, it's, all, all around it's, and it's all the art the, bus and you literally bus. it's the art bus and I mean I think the fares uh, have changed since the last time I took the bus which was like 10 years ago um, but that's another option that you can take um, but again um, it Arlington is a great way like a great way to explore Arlington is by walking um, or taking Lyft or Uber so what made you move to Arlington um, I think there's a lot to do in this area um, a lot of people my age younger yeah. right out of college so it's nice to you know, have that environment where you can go out and you're yeah. all around the same age exactly. and get along and there's a lot to do. You know, it's nice to have the sports teams, the baseball, yeah, you know, so all of the bars and everything's up and coming. Right. So it's exactly. definitely a nice area. Perfect. Um, and where are you, are you, because I know like most people are not from Arlington. Where did you move from? If I um, ask? Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh, so, oh, yeah. so yeah. Good. There's not too much to do around there, no sports teams, so it's definitely nice to have more of the social environment here. In Ireland. Did you move for school or for uh, for work? For work. Oh, for yeah. work. I yeah. see. I see. Actually, like most people might. So, what you don't like about Ireland? It's expensive to live here. <laughs> that's so yeah. True. If I ever want to buy a house, that's gonna be tough. Yeah. Um, the market here is definitely expensive, but okay. yeah. that's probably Excellent. the only downside is the Excellent. price. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is Rocky Run Park. Um, this is our daughter's favorite uh, playground in Arlington. So there's lots of stuff to do in Arlington. One of them is parks. There is tons and tons of parks and recreation out there. This is one of them that we're just taking you out to. But again, we're, uh, we'll provide a list below as far as like what's available in Arlington and where you can go, take your kids, like things to do. Um, but yeah, here it is. Enjoy the view and take your kids out here. One of the other reasons I love Arlington is for their farmer's market. So it's Saturday and we're near the Clarendon. So they have fresh meat, produce, fruits, um, honey, flowers and anything else you can imagine. It's right in the back. Let's check it out. We are here in Clarendon. Bars and nightlife. Uh, apparently Victor has a favorite spot. Whitlow's on Wilson and Baba. Good drinks, okay. good beer. They Definitely do open, they do open after 4 p.m. And um, you know, so there's a lot of variety as far as drinks and foods, so that's small bites. Um, I also wanted to mention that Arlington has a lot of culture. There is, you can find restaurants, you know, from Vietnamese to Chinese to, um, you know, Lebanese. There's Persian food, that would be me. Um, and then there's also American food, but pretty much just so much variety. I mean, if you are looking to move somewhere where everything is within pretty much like walking distance, um, if you are, you know, really interested in the nightlife if you're interested in you know trying different foods then this is the best place to be as far as Arlington goes um, there's also a Whole Foods within walking distance literally pretty much anywhere you live you can walk to the Whole right. Foods it's central right so this is area like mostly for like a younger population you don't have to drive to DC you don't have to go anywhere like here you can just there's so many different types I mean the restaurants bars and every everything around like walking distance no you don't have to go anywhere and actually have to go uh, hop on the metro and then and go back home if it's if it's an option 
One of the signature landmarks here in Arlington is the U.S. Uh, War Memorial. This is a staple probably of the whole memorials here in Arlington. There is another newest one, Air Force Memorial. If you come here to visit, this is best place to be. Actually, it has a beautiful view of DC. It's right here. So right behind this, it's a river, and then you can see the whole landmark DC. One of the other places to visit, it would be is Arlington Cemetery. Uh, it's a graveyard for, I actually don't remember, about 300,000 uh, soldiers. So it's all within the, within the reach. Um, if you come in here, you definitely have to go to, to DC. So everything, all the museums are free, all the, all the memorials are free, and it's all within actually walking distance. You can definitely see that one. So we'll, we'll show you around, you'll look, you'll look what it is, but it's definitely, if you come into here to leave or to visit, to travel, this is the place to see. Those are our 10 points. Um, this, is it. this is it. We've come to an end, and I hope to see you guys. We hope to see you guys very soon again. Um, but it's a beautiful place to be here in Arlington. Um, make sure you like and subscribe us, and definitely uh, leave your comments below for us to review them. If you have any questions, we're here to answer them. Yes, if you are moving or relocating to Virginia, you have any questions at all, please comment below, as Roya said. We'll respond to all the questions, uh, all the comments. And again, you know how to reach us. Text, call, or send us the mail, right? All right, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.